question 8. Which of the following is not an example of monetary policy? A. Purchasing of government bonds in an open market operation. B. A change in required reserve regulations. C. A change in the discount rate. D. An increase in the earned income tax credit. Or E. Selling, in, selling of government bonds in an open market operation. Now, we're going to review the concept behind the monetary policies that the Federal Reserve can enact. And they are, one, setting the discount rates, two, setting the reserve requirements, three, purchasing government bonds, and four, selling government bonds. Now, let's take a look at the answer choices. Purchasing of government bonds in an open market operation. So the question is asking which is not an example of monetary policy. A is an example of monetary policy because it is purchasing government bonds. Therefore, A is incorrect. B, a change in required reserve regulations. This is a monetary policy the Federal Reserve can enact which says right over here, number two, setting the reserve requirements. Now C, a change in discount rate. That is also something the Federal Reserve can enact in one of its monetary policies. Number one, which is setting discount rates. Now let's look at D, an increase in the earned income tax credits. From all our different types of monetary policies that the Federal Reserve can enact, an increase in the earned income tax credit is not one of those policies the Federal Reserve would be able to do. So it is, it's questionable of whether D is incorrect or correct, but it's, strong, it's, strong can, it's a strong candidate to be incorrect, but we want to go through every single question to find the best answer. Now E, selling of government bonds in an open market operation, that is also one of the monetary policies the Federal Reserve can enact. So therefore, the correct answer is D, an increase in the earned income tax credit. Now D is the correct answer because the, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, is in charge of determining an increase or decrease on the earned income tax credit. It is not, respons it is not the responsibility of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors to determine whether earned income tax credit should increase or decrease. So the correct answer, D.